morning. How's everybody doing today? It's your boy, Tyler McVicker, passionate gamer. Uh, just woke up. And uh, we gotta get going. We gotta, we gotta be working. We gotta be working all day if we're gonna be catching up on our work. So, um, in case you're curious, um, I just, I woke up. I've been going to bed at around 9.30, 10 p.m., waking up around 5. Um, <clears throat> as, um, you know, as, uh, my therapist told me that I needed to get my life on track. My, my therapist told me that I needed to get my, um, my sleep schedule on track, going to bed at 4 a.m., waking up at 2 p.m., it's not okay for me to do anymore. It really affected my mental health, and you know, um, I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on an adventure of, of self-discovery, and an adventure of uh, like a mental health first policy. So, yeah, I'm super happy that I've been able to go to bed with my wife at a decent time. We're both on a mental health, we're both on our own mental health journey, if I'm going to be honest. And it's really beautiful that I have uh, an individual that I get to learn and experience uh, my own personal issues with that I trust. Uh, Electra is my wife, in case you don't know, and we've been together since middle school, um, since 2011. And... Uh, I'm more in love with her nowadays than I have ever been before, and that's amazing to be able to, to honestly say. And um, I've been seeing a therapist. It's been going very well. I've been speaking to a nutritionist, dietitian kind of person whom, not on like a professional level or anything, it's just it's a fan that reached out and was like, yo, I do nutrition profiles, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, let's, you, you keep saying that you're, you're really depressed. Let's talk about it. And so we've been talking and they got me started up on this supplement regimen, daily walks. Uh, they okayed monster. I'm allowed one monster a day, but, uh, I also need to drink one of these a day, which is really, really good for me, but I'm pissing like crazy, <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, and yeah, uh, I try and take a walk every day, but we had some lake effect snow yesterday. Uh, so it's like, it's like six inches of snow. Um, we're going to start. Yeah. How about going to the gym? We are going to start, uh, going to the gym pretty soon. We're not there yet. Um, we're going to wait until it warms up a little bit outside, uh, before I start trekking out every day. Um, there's some, we're trying to get our finances together because months of depression, like six to seven months of straight crippling depression can really fuck up your financial situation because you're not really working. Um, and I'm trying to, to catch up with it. I'm trying to get it all back. Float plane sponsorships, these streams, these streams have been super helpful. And of course, more videos. Um, next video is about, um, oh, Sarah and Norm. Hey, Tyler, what's up? What's up? Nice, uh, <laughs> nice Miles emote. Shout outs. Don't forget vitamin D. Yeah, I take a multivitamin and then a separate vitamin C and vitamin D vitamin. And then I take beetroot, uh, some citrus thing, uh, pescolin and biotin. <laughs> I take a whole bunch of pills, and then I also have uh, some CBD every day, which was really helpful. I'm just, look, I'm in a much better place nowadays with a significantly better support structure around me. And now the goal, I take, um, I've been looking into taking some kind of turmeric ginger supplement thing for inflammation. Um, and I was recommended to do it, but holy shit, that stuff is expensive. So I'm not really there yet. Um, again, we've got a bunch of sponsors lined up into the AM is one of them, the place that makes all the cool t-shirts that I wear. Uh, I have a, a VPN lined up. I have a mobile game lined up. Um, and there's one more. Fuck. 
I'll have to check my email. And then we have the float plane. Um, uh, ginger tea in general. Yeah, we have a bunch of ginger uh, here. Um, so the float plane's coming up soon. Uh, and for those that, that don't know, uh, Linus Tech Tips uh, is uh, owns a Patreon alternative. And I'd love a weed sponsor. I don't have one. I would remember a weed sponsor. Linus Tech Tips has their uh, a Patreon uh, alternative competitor called Float Plane, uh, run by Luke um, from the WAN show. And I reached out a while ago, and somebody got back to me, and they were like, we're a big fan. And I'm like, oh, shit. So we, I've been working with Linus for about a year on the Float Plane. And currently... Uh, what we're going to be launching with is a $5 tier, $10 tier, $25 tier, and a $50 tier, and maybe a $100 tier, I don't know. And it's a monthly thing like Patreon, recurring payment. Um, for $5 supporters, you're going to get uh, exclusive, like, vloggy type behind-the-scenes videos talking about what I'm working on um, and what I uh, am researching. Uh, you get weekly exclusive streams. Uh, one of the big things that Floatplane has that no one else has is that you can stream directly to the website. Um, and so we're going to have every, probably Sunday, we're going to stream to Floatplane for three, four hours. Um, and uh, you also get extended cuts of videos. So like some stuff that I might cut out for the final YouTube edit, I'll, uh, I'll throw into the, the Floatplane cut. Ten dollars, they get to pick what we stream on those exclusive streams. Um, so every week, we're going to stream stuff that the ten dollar tiers ask us to stream. What games we're going to stream? Uh, ten bucks. Uh, for twenty-five bucks, uh, they get. Of course, you get everything from the previous tier. Uh, twenty-five bucks, they get to pick um, what we play on these streams. Um, and yeah you get to pick the games that we play on on the the twitch streams and then for 50 bucks you get to pick a video topic <laughs> once a month you get to pick a topic that i have to look into and research and do a video on within reason if i find out that you have asked me to do a video on a game that you are working on it's not gonna happen sorry it's in it's it's written in the terms of the tier not doing it. I reserve the rights to say, nope. No self no no weird self promotion bullshit here, my friend. That's not what we're doing. But I know a lot of you are like, yo, can you ask what's going on with Half Life Two Remastered Collection or uh, Project Borealis or you know all that kind of good stuff. You guys have you guys can force me to make a video on that stuff. So I got all that stuff approved. Linus directly approved it. Linus is going to be in the video. Linus is going to be in the video that announces the float plane. Pretty sick shit. And then they're going to shout me out a couple of times to advertise it for me on the Linus channel, which is going to be quite good for me. So, that's what I have coming up. Uh, Wallable, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, the next video is HLX. Uh, it's currently called Half-Life X, the Half-Life X mystery, what the hell is Valve doing? Uh, what if it would be something like Fallout Shelter? Yeah, that's fine. Literally. Like, as long as it's a video game in my wheelhouse, and it's not a video game that you personally are working on, you know, like it's just free promotion, then yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you want me to make a Fallout Shelter game? Okay, what about? Fine. Yeah, let's do a Fallout. Fallout. You want to do a Fallout Shelter uh, stream? Fine. You want to do a Fallout Shelter video? Fine. I don't care. Let's do it. Yeah. I like Fallout Shelter. <laughs> On PC with a modded save so I don't have to pay for lunch boxes. So it's actually a strategic game and not a waiting game. There you go. All right. Let's play some... Let, let's, let's jump into Cyber. Let's jump back into Cyberpunk. We've been doing uh, side quests finally. Um, so they can suggest Hunt Down the Freeman? Yep. Of course they can. Hey man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta worry about my financial situation, and if doing some silly shit once in a while for y'all is what makes that happen, I'll do it. I gotta support my family. All right. 
So, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm Tyler McVicker, please follow. But we have been beelining Cyberpunk for the last three weeks, and we're 100%ing it. We're trying to play absolutely everything that exists within the game. Um, are you doing a major play, a full playthrough every time a patch comes out? No. Nope. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'll just wait here. Shut the fuck up. Oh, good, you're back. So, I was saying. Kind of need. Uh, so we were, we were, if you were here last time, we were bugging the system out and getting unlimited money. No, I won't be doing a full Cyberpunk playthrough for every patch. Um, I won't be, I, I don't entirely know how I'm going to be going about doing it every time, but no, we won't be doing it every single time. Um... I'm doing a full playthrough right now just to have, like, the playthrough. Like, this is the playthrough that I did. Do you know what I mean? So, if you actually want to see me play through the game, this is the this is the streams. These are the streams that you refer back to. Um, these are the streams that are going to be slightly edited together in a really long, multi-part, ten-hour video thing. And then, yeah, when expansions and DLC comes out, then we play the expansions and DLC. Um... And then as for mods, um, you know, like, I will be making my mod list. I will be doing a stream or two to showcase the mod list. But when we're done with the game, we're done with the game. You know what I mean? So, that's, that's where we're at right now. Um... We're also doing um, a Fallout New Vegas playthrough, a vanilla Fallout New Vegas playthrough on Xbox. We're going to be doing an Outer Worlds playthrough soon. Um, what else? Like, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, I do want to be playing shorter games <laughs> once in a while. Uh, the open world games are my favorite, but they are a massive time commitment if you're going to long play them at live streams, especially when you're a completionist like me, you know what I mean? Iron Lung? Yeah, why not? No offense, but thank God. Well, why are you here if you don't like if you don't like Cyberpunk? I love Cyberpunk. But yeah, you know what I mean. Play Dying Light 2? I don't own that one. But yeah, I mean... I pretty much stream what I'm making content on, right? So Valve games are always a gimme. They're always a given. And pretty soon I need to start doing uh, Half-Life Alex custom content again. Because there's a lot of really good stuff out there. Taste of love, man. Taste of love. <laughs> I just like having the stream in the background here, what you're saying. Well, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, hopefully Silk Song comes out this year. I mean, I don't, I don't really know anything about it, unfortunately, I don't really follow that. <laughs> Dying Light games are good. What are they, though? Like, isn't, like, Mirror's Edge meets Zombies? Poop and pee. Okay, oh, sorry. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I thought I skipped time. Please stop Sonichu, following. Sonichu, 012345. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're well. If you're new to the channel, please follow. I appreciate it. <coughs> so how's everybody doing? How was your day? How did you sleep if you're just getting up? How was your day if you're in the EU? Fallout wa uh, waiting works on vendors here too. Uh-huh. It does.
Morning, Tyler. Mirror's Edge meets Far Cry meets Assassin's Creed meets Zombies. That sounds awful. <laughs> On paper, that sounds pretty bad. That's a pretty good woke up 9 a.m. Hell yeah. It sucks? Alright, I won't play it. Cart Town tells me it sucks. Cart Town tells me it sucks. Microsoft. I love drop kicking though. I wouldn't say Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. It's pretty far from that. Yeah, I hate Far Cry. Far Cry's not very good. As you can see, this is like an unlimited money cheat, and we're working our way up to a million dollars right now so that we can buy all the damn cars. You're still sitting with COVID, but weed has me covered? Fuck yeah, dude. The last semi-good Far Cry game was the second one. Um, I don't think people would agree with that take. Do people agree with that take? I thought, you're cheating, Tyler. You should restart everything from scratch. Absolutely not. People love two for the details. Also, Blood Dragon's good. Everybody loves three. Yeah, I thought everybody loves three for Voss. Like, I've never played it, and I know that. You know what I mean? You just bought the Kazugati motorcycle? Yeah, that is a good cycle. Great villain. Great villain. Best villain. Gotta love the villain. Yeah, I mean, like, Ubisoft open world games, no matter what the series, are all the same game, right? And I mean, like, we can clown on that, but we all play Bethesda games, right? <laughs> Three is good in the beginning, but it gets repetitive late game when you fight the military. Okay. Hey, I might end up having to play Far Cry if someone pays for me to play Far Cry, you know? And the rule is that if I'm enjoying it, I'll do a long play of it. If I'm not, one stream. I, I reserve the right to be like, this ain't it. You know. I played some of Far Cry 1, and it just felt like a standard-ass linear shooter. Like, it, it was fine. Anybody have any good good food lately? Any good any good food? There are a lot of games that I personally want to stream. Outer Wilds, Outer Worlds, um, the Doom series, the Half Life series, the Portal series, and just have like definitive like this is the live stream that I played that game. You know, that's the playthrough you can refer to. How much money are you going to go? 500,000. I said a million. I'm losing my patience. But yeah, if you want to break the game's economy, this is how you do it. You have to... Invest into crafting. <laughs> you had some banger macaroni and cheese last night? Fuck yeah, dude. Glad to hear it. I love mac and cheese. I'm a fat poor. I'm a fat boy. I'm fat. I'm a fat boy. I love mac and cheese. Alright. Soya Silva. Keistador. Oh, they're totally nerfing this in the next patch. 
It, it totally seems like an oversight that you can craft this legendary item without legendary crafting components, so it is a profit to, to craft and sell. That seems like an oversight, you know? Like, how do you make that mistake? All right, I think, I think $510,000 from zero is good enough. Trauma team. All right, let's buy some cars. That's a bike. That's a good point. This is a bike. Responsible for over 60% of contracts. The NUSA is far and away their largest customer. Though, in truth, these sales amount to no more than hidden government subsidies. This should raise a huge red flag for any investor with half a brain. Militech. All right. Where's the next closest car? Over there? Let's do it. Ooh, he said teat. Tickle, 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 tickle. Gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna. Where's the next car? There it is. There is no stock market in Cyberpunk. Will there be a stock market? I don't think so. No one uses the stock market in Grand Theft Auto unless you're doing the payphone hits just to make as much money as possible. It's literally a, like, it's just to get extra money. Otherwise, no one uses it. And people only know to use it because you're literally spoon-fed that information. You know? Mine. It's not satisfying, it's not an engaging feature, it's like a cheat. Like, hey! You're about to kill a guy who's really important to this company, so invest in their competitor. Alright? Alright, bye! And then you wait to do the payphone hits until after... You know? You beat the game. So you can do it. You know? So stupid. By the way, the first time you get into a black car, it's not yours, technically. Explain. Never will I die, never will I die, never will I, never will I, 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 For real. Oh, that's interesting. So it's just like you got into any stranger's car, but then when you get out, it's added into your inventory. So you can duplicate the car if you stand next to it and summon your actual car? That can't be true. Are you serious?
for real. For real. Let's see if what you say is true. Let's try it. Alright, so this is the Outlaw GTS. You get in. You get out. You pull up the money. The menu. You spawn an Outlaw... GTS. No. If that's a thing that used to be in the game, they fixed it, so... All right, we only have $134,000 now. Jesus Christ, we're spending. Maybe not the spot you bought the car, so drive it around a little bit. All right. Future cars. You know, someone made a mod that lets you modify your cars, like GTA 5 style. Please stop following. Thanks for the follow. This is the century. This is the century. This is the century. This is the century. century. Alright, get out. Nope, it doesn't work. You are dumb. Everybody point and laugh at dumb. Next car. Ow! That was my car! Thanks for following, by the way. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a pack that fixes the game while keeping it vanilla? Um, not yet. We're too early in the game's lifespan for that to be the case, because updates keep coming out. There's no point in putting effort into bug fixes if they're still doing bug fixes. You know what I mean? And this game's gonna have significantly longer post-game support than New Vegas did, so... Everybody, uh, uh, type it in the chat. Uh, uh, how? Uh, uh, type it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, mm, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh. Thanks. I appreciate that you guys did that. Big car. This is the big car. How much money do I got? 20,000? Is there a car that's less than that? No. No. Oh, yeah. Less than $21,000. Ooh, we got that one. $22,000 for a Mai Mai. We're close, but that's a no. We're gonna go for the cheapest fucking thing, this, this freight van. Let's do it. Please stop following. Thanks the follow. I am in a city. I am in a city. Can't believe that I am inside a city. The world is ending around me, but I'm inside a city. I wish that I could have a big old, big old, yeah, rhymes. I'm in a city. I'm in a city. 60 FPS in the city. I'm in a city. I'm in a city. 60 FPS inside the city. Gonna drive a weird van around. <laughs> this is my van.
Going on my first date with Pam Mam in a van. Going on a date in a van. That's sus. The music in this game is amazing. What percentage am I? So the game doesn't give you a strict percentage. However, gigs, NCPD side hustles, and cyber psychos are completed across the game. Go look at what that looks like. Like, hundreds, hundreds of things have been completed. Look at this. Look at that. You kidding me? Did you see that? Please clip that. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. Did you see that the hood was lowered until the scene started and then the hood went up? We can help each other. Rogue said so. I might have guessed. All right. Tell me all you know. Fail. And you can run back and tell Rogue to fuck right off. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You can you at alone, least clip it for me, please? Back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? One guy I gotta talk to. A corpo traveling by corp convoy. No, I don't do abductions. Besides, you'd need many more bodies and heaps of gear to take a convoy. 
It's just one AV. Plan Brood will take it over Jackson Plains. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? I thought this is mostly about the merch. Fuck the Just merch. the hood not being up. Yep. With that ride, I can take any Haven't done Skippy yet, no. Without Thanks only for the I clip. Please don't post back. links in the Maybe. chat. Just tell me that you did it. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Yeah, she stole the car. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. And Fuck. Yes. There she thought it. We'll need back. She thought about it. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz. Hey. Nash is gonna pass you the merchant Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Don't link things in chat. You'll be timed out for Boss, five minutes. Come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boss. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. Who the hell's Boz? <laughs> Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gangoons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So... Where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's Best character in the game. You might say so. What's up? Yes. But Boo Bear is awake now. What's up, girl? Him. Him? <laughs> yeah, he's a jerk. He wants, yeah, I fed him. He's still being an ass? <laughs> what do you want? We fed you. Does he have water? Yeah. We have two cats. One's amazing, and we have a second cat. You okay? Are you okay? You go back to bed. Oh. Then, like, I don't know, lock him down here for a while with me. Maybe he thinks that he can get both of us to feed him? <laughs> right when I woke up. 
Because he was mowing at me. And he immediately started eating it like crazy. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Do you have any fun dreams? No? Okay. Oh. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. That's weird. Well, I'm sorry that that's, uh, happening to you. I mean, like, in your dream, I'm sorry that's happening to you, you know? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm streaming, so. Do what you want. People want to see the new thumbnail. The new version. Huh? Why? Because it smelled last night? <laughs> it doesn't smell anymore. Whatever. Yeah, they want to see it. Some cats tend to stand next to the bowl of food and ask for more food or new food. As to appear that they are hungry, but in reality, they just want the freshest food they can. And if sometimes you go away, they'll just eat it anyways. That is according to viewer Icy One. Are you a cat expert, Icy One? My mom is. Well, there you go. Icy One's mom is a cat expert. Does Icy One's mom want a cat? Does your mom want this shitty cat? He bites. He bites. Yeah, he claws. He, he, he draws blood often. He um, will wake you up. Uh, he has no, uh, what's the word? Boundaries. He has no boundaries. He has no care for other individuals. He is bad with other cats. He likely has a life-threatening disease that costs tens of thousands to treat. He, um, he sucks. You guys want him? Yeah. Play it again, my Johnny. Yeah, we hate him. We wish he, uh, we wish he was gone. But you can't always get what you want. <laughs> Sounds awful, but I'm so sick of him. Oh, I'm so sick of him. He's so mean. He's, he is a jerk. He's he, What kind of disease does he have? He has hyperthyroidism. We're going to quickly make sure that we're quote-unquote reading everything here because sometimes they give you quests. Maybe he's mean because he feels like shit. He's always been a shithead. Since we found him in a bush. Like, five years ago. Six years ago.
Hello, Tyler. Hello. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Good, let's roll. Get in. Where'd you get the ride? Straight out of some driveway in Rancho? Yes, exactly. That's me. Is that a problem? For me? No, not at all. I mean, there's no accounting for taste. Screw you. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the Have I seen any next. Project 4 stuff the public hasn't seen? Yeah. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and boosters that came extra. You know I don't mean the car. Yeah, he might. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Look, it's the best Why person. Why do you need that yeah. clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. Alright, shutting so off the camera. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? The air purifier? What'd you do? What did you do? Not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand a bitch. Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? Yep. I got a good looker. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that rapid. Did you know that? Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm Nomads tossed out of clans. Yep. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams, sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. Why'd you do it? Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. Sorry, I didn't mean to push no, the no, button no, again. Mm -hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams. They gather in Sometimes teams, Sometimes form guys. actual gangs. They form actual gangs, Most of them guys. are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. His reaction to the idea that they have warrants on their heads would be more impactful if the, you know, police and warrant system actually meant something in this game. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. All right. I guess we're on a car ride now. Okay, we're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. Don't you get a bit more money if you kill someone with a warrant? I don't know, do you? Hope our little hothead gets the job done. Well, would you look what the cat dragged in? Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. Hey. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. 
Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Does the crouch button work right now? No. The crouch button doesn't work when you're talking with people. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Please stop following. Hey, thank you for the no, follow. No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? <laughs> Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. This whole sequence is really well made. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. Yeah, the whole area that. was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. Of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. 
when you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Whispers and whimpers. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. Mm. What happened? <laughs> the reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. A leaf? But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. That's rude. So who are your guys' favorite characters? Honest, I'm not just asking for like waifus or whatever. Who do you think are like the best written characters? Because for me it's a tie between Jackie and Pan Am. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. Hey, man. Hey. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Pan Am, Johnny's great too. Uh, I actually think Johnny's the weakest. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down, nothing works here. Well, have you found anything? Jackie is great. I love Jackie so much. I got nada. You have an epiphany? The Raffins will roll in after dusk, right? We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. So we plug it back in. Let's check the substation. You got it. Him alone isn't too strong, but you like the dynamic between him and V? I don't know, man. I just love their characters. Like, Jackie was supposed to be kind of an ass, you know? Like, that was his original character implementation. He was just a big, big jerk. <laughs> and his death would mean nothing if he was a jerk, you know what I mean? Like, why make that character a jerk if you're supposed to be upset when they light, when they leave, you know? Scan the power source. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? Mm hmm The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the Paul switch Cunningham's there and an interesting will light character. up like Christmas. Well, Understood? she's kind of like God. Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Mm. Come on. We'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Dope. Wait for me by the substation. All I'll right. bring the car around. I like how Johnny is much more than what meets the eye. I mean, that's true. And I love Keanu. But I think out of all the performances, his is the weakest. You know what I mean? I think the actors have really gave it their all with this one, and I'm quite happy with it. You know what shape. I mean? I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the truck. We'll boost it from the car battery.
Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. What do you what are your thoughts on God's moral will? What are you talking about? <laughs> there she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Hey guys, what are your thoughts on God's will? God's moral will. What are you asking me? <laughs> you know, the whole argument of his moral will versus his... I'm, I'm done reading your weird questions. Switch gears got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's Please let me know where we can stand with the substation. Can't we just cut it off locally? As I said before, I can disconnect it locally, but I can't promise some drifter won't come back next month and hook it back up. And then you'll all be left holding the tab for some squattle removal and power theft. Leaving it up to you. Save some money today and take the risk, or put the whole of Rocky Ridge disaster behind us once and for all. Disconnect locally. Huh. Your mistake, bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore for a minute. Sorry, but we just connected the power, and so there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff we can do here. No maidens. That dude's got no maidens. Coolant. Okay. Why do I have coolant? Where did the coolant come from? Does anybody else have maidens? I have... I have a partner. Is a partner a maiden? Coolant is from the bugbear rescue mission? Yeah, I know, but why is it still in my inventory? Hey, Boo Bear. Are you my maiden? The face she's making suggests that I was stupid for even asking the question. However, I don't know in which direction she's thinking. You know, like... Am I stupid for asking the question because of course she's my maiden? Or am I stupid for asking the question because how dare you even call me that? Which direction are we going? Okay, she told me to eat a dick, so... I think that means that she's definitely my maiden. Yeah, that smile confirms it. I've got a maiden. I know I can come back, but the power will be off after the Raffenshiv mission, so I want to explore this little town while the power is connected, which I don't think I've ever done Please before. Please stop following. Yo, what's your name? The Real Benny K. Thank you very much, The Real Benny K, for the follow. If you're new to the channel, hey, please toss me a follow. I appreciate it. You know, we've gotten like 2,000 new followers in the last two weeks, two or three weeks, so... You know, telling people, reminding them to follow is definitely, uh, definitely working. Doesn't the power stay on after the quest? Last time I played, the power turned off after the quest. Does the power stay on after the quest? Whoa. What's this? Whoa. Oh, shoot. That's really neat. I don't think I've ever been in this room. Also, I found a gig from... Look, I found a gig just from... A, a single... You know, I looked at a, a, a shard and it gave me a side quest. I've been, I've been told that that can happen, but I've never actually had it happen before. 
It was a shard of the Shikon Jewel, exactly. Oh, I love video games. You know what game I've been wanting to play, guys? That new Pokemon game. It looks pretty good. Has anyone here played it? The, the Breath of the Wild meets Pokemon one. That one looks pretty cool because it looks like a new Pokemon game. Like, it's not like... You know what I mean? Is it good? I just don't want to spend $60. I haven't touched my Switch in two to three weeks, so not really, no. Oh, well, that's disappointing. The Cyberpunk game from the 90s? There's a couple. There's... What was the one that... Snatcher, the one that, that Kojima made for the Genesis PC engine or whatever. My sister plays the game. She says it's like Genshin Impact meets Fortnite. <laughs> so two incredibly popular games. Does your sister play a lot of video games or just a few? Because that's like saying, man, this movie is giving me boss baby vibes. The phone game. The phone game. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I said I wanted to play the, the new Pokemon, and you're saying a cyberpunk game from the 90s. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-oh, a dead body. Man, it's too bad that people die. We should cure death, but then also cure babies. Meaning, no more babies. Because if we cure death, can't be making new people. Man, Rocky Ridge is bigger than I remember. You know, I hope... The first expansion is, is working on mostly Pacifica. But I hope the second uh, expansion works on, like, Badlands stuff. And also the moon. Spoilers for the end of the game. Depending on what ending you pick. Yeah, we should just ban babies altogether. No more babies. No one should have babies anymore. We don't need them. If we cure death, we don't need babies. No more babies. Bigger than blood and wine? Yeah, bigger in terms of, like, choice and consequence and stuff. I can't promise that, like... It won't. It'll probably be the same size in one playthrough. Do you know what I mean? But its replayability factor will be significantly higher than anything we've seen before from them. Does that make sense? So, like, I think you get what I mean. My wishes for the DLC: more Pan Am, please, more Pan Am. All right. I think you need to go to Horny Jail. I think, I think, I think we need to send somebody to Horny Jail, guys. Can you call the Horny Police for me, please? Do you think you'll play as V again? Um, you know, I'll answer that question. I know you play as V. Electra thought me saying you need to go to Horny Jail was gross. So, there's that. Will I mute my microphone for a minute? What depends? Am I- are you mad at me? I'm in trouble? Oh god. jaw to recover from that. Stop. 
Tyler, what did I do? Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Sometimes I think it'd be funny if I poop in Electra's favorite foods, and then she doesn't find out until she goes to eat that food. Well, I pooped in some of her oat milk and I forgot about it, and that was like two weeks ago. And she just checked it today. And so she punched me really hard in the jaw. Like, really hard in the jaw. <laughs> With Aperture Desk Job being out, do I think that the janitor and potted plant will start working on localization files again? I think... I think so. Yeah, I think we'll definitely get a localization file update before the end of the year. You can quote me on that. Even though you're a dumbass and Valve doesn't do localization updates, they literally, like, farm out that work to volunteers. But <laughs> for the, stream, the Steam Translation server, or whatever their new service is called. That's a lot of cum. I'm wearing Johnny's pants. I'm wearing Johnny's pants. I love to wear my buddy Johnny's pants. Johnny's been dead for 50 years, but I wear his pants. They don't smell that bad. Alright, I think I'm done exploring for now. Sorry, Pan Am. I got distracted. I do that. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Okay. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Okay. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. Time to kill some people. They're rolling in. And my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Where's the son of a bitch, boss? You, wait for him here. Get good and ready. Okay, I'm... Um... Show starts now. Let there be light. That was very fast. Well, we have maxed out assault. Ah, pleasure. Wait for me in the car. From all foods. Taste of love, man. Do you recommend backlight mods for the Game Boy or IPS screen mods? IPS screen if you can do it. IPS screens are way better. This place pumping. This place popping. Just that one quest it works on. Taste of love, man. Taste it. Taste the love. You gotta taste it with your mouth.
Just making sure there isn't any uh, doors that I can use stuff on to get free stuff. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, a shard. Take the wheel. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? What's your biggest criticism in praise of the game? Biggest criticism? Um, ship too early. A lot of the game feels... A lot of the world feels kind of empty. Um, and underutilized. And not enough choice and consequence. And... Uh... uh She's prime wheels, isn't she? The game's balancing is not great. I'm surprised you wanted her back. Also, oh, the police he is, completes me. needs to just be removed See? if you're not going to do anything Managed with it. Just fine without Mitch's Biggest score. praise? Art. Gameplay. Listen, V. It's not over Quest yet. Quest design. Not. You Music. got the cargo. You got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got them. Six Street away from Just listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake. I know where their little hidey hole is. Ooh. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Wanna just show up at the Raffin hideout? Are you out of your mind? Do you have a better idea? Let me hear it. Matter of fact, I do. We take the stuff to 6th Street, then go after Hellman like we planned. I gave you my word, didn't I? Please stop writing my ass about Hellman. And do not start acting high and mighty, like you won't lift a finger if it's not in the contract. Just... just help me get Nash. <sighs> All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. What's with the running That's animation? The shaky feel feels all. Uh, it's because I have it turned off. It gives me motion I sickness. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. <laughs> and I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. That's Who is he describing? Let's get this over with. Who betrayed him? Are we talking about the Corpo beginning? Oh, Dex. Right. Are you ready? Let's get him. Let's do it. There are massive underground tunnel systems that are underutilized or completely unused that are just sitting in the game. You can access them now, but they're just not lit. They're on their last leg. All right, let's do it. All right, we got to do pistols. Remember, we're trying to maximize the character growth. So we're using pistols now. Because I just hit assault level 20. This is the uh, pistol that you get for doing all the Padres gigs. Just what we needed. Oh. That is a 
sniper. Use Lizzie's pistol? I don't have that on me right now. Is Lizzie's pistol the best pistol in the game? This is the hardest play mode, yeah. You know any good replacements for the N64 for the controllers that in the GameCube? Yeah, uh, the retro bit controller. I just just look it up on Amazon. It's a really good controller. It's wire. Just look up wireless N64 controller. It's like the only one that comes up. It's not the one that looks like the Hori Mini Pad. It's the other one. All right, I'll switch to Lizzie's after this mission. This pistol sucks. Come on, Lipstick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fucking. Mighty work, B. That's so fucked up. Use it on the original console, yeah. Alright. Hey, we got a perk point. Dope. Duration of cold blood adds an extra stack to cold blood. Have you spent any time or knowledge about FF 6 p 5 Not yet. I'm not really paying attention too much to it, but Yeah, I know what you mean. It is an interesting little conundrum. So what is this considered? It's a rifle? So that would be under assault, right? Would this be under assault or would this be under um, the other one? What's the word? Not assault, but annihilation. It's assault. All right. All right. Damn, covered in loot. Damn, this ground texture is not loading in. Nah, it's the most overpowered weapon in the game. My first playthrough, I used only that gun. Yeah. Precision rifles get the ability to use precision rifle sniper rifle exclusive perk in the assault tree. Okay. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Okay. 
you. Isn't it like hella late for you? No, I just woke up. Any mods? Completely vanilla. People watching this on YouTube with all the parts edited together are gonna be very annoyed by me con <laughs> continuing telling people, no, there's no mods. I'm pretty sure it's in the title of the stream, too. Is there anywhere to dump bodies here? Doesn't look like it. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you. You can dump cars, you can dump bodies into the back of trunks. But, if they're not specifically marked, you don't get ninjutsu points for it for some reason. I think that's an oversight. I'll be bringing it up in my, you know, what's still broken video. Let's upgrade that new rifle we got. Where's it at? It's a blue, right? Do I not have enough? Wait. Where's it at? It's not that. Wait, where is it? I don't see it. It's a blue, so we have to go up to a purple. Uh Nicely. It's mostly because when you dump a body into a container made for dumping enemies, you get excited, you get experience, but in card trunks they're still alive. Yeah, but... Yeah. You're right, but that's still stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were up chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. Yeah, in a minute. You ever played Gwent? Oh yeah. Got like a hundred hours in Gwent. Alright, I think I've collected everything here. Is the free car available right now, or is it when I come back? What bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Yeah, I come back, all right. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Da -boo -boo. Let's go. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. Dope. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Sixth Street not likely to pull anything. I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. It's I'm after the Kang Tao thing? Oh, uh, okay. Sunset Motel, what's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Should be fun.
Yeah, and you'll also get the ability to finish the Cyber Psycho quest. Oh, dope. So it's after I down the King Tao ride. That's when that opens up. Alright, cool. I'm gonna do a few things, though. Like you said, the best pistol is the Lizzy pistol, so we're gonna upgrade the Lizzy pistol. And there's here. a weapon vendor here anyway, Let so that'll be talking. easy. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. That ain't my pistol. Wouldn't it be cool if this scene you actually held the pistol hey, that you use? And it would only How's default that? to that if you weren't carrying a pistol. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. What is the merch? Do we know? It's Sixth Street, so it's not drugs, right? So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple of minutes. It's been a pleasure. It is drugs? But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. For cyber psychos. Oh, it's medicine. How do we know? How do you know what it is? That went well. Come on. Oh, she tells Let's you later? Pan Am, what are you doing? Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Let's get a good picture of Pan Am carrying nothing. Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? <laughs> Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seen worse. What's up? Get this. It's so cold up there. We are sitting here cuddling. Hey, man, I turned the heat up as high as I'm willing. <sighs> what can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. Brosif! So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Oh, she does tell you. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. I'm a dummy. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, <sighs> rippers. Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Yay. That's gonna be my girlfriend. Damn, girl. Uh, slow down. Jesus Christ, you're gonna die. Oh my god. Another one over here. Hello. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. The Alda Caldas. Think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but someday. I don't rightly know. So on the one hand, I don't have any heat experts. Yeah, ask him how heat rises, but it's the coldest floor in our house. Is... Ask him how heat rises, but the coldest floor in our house is the top our top floor. Okay. Anyone outside the clan? Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? What would I become if I stayed in Night City? Could just start over again. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. Talking about Rogue? No, but thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. V, do you think I can make a fresh start with her too? She seems to better at ease on the right people. You'll work it out. 
Why is she rolling her eyes at you? The raft. She doesn't believe me. We done with them? Oh no, the shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be she quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. I don't know. Is she? Those are the most uncomfortable trousers. All right. Pine time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe just one room. Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. <laughs> Not exactly what I meant. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... Calls for we a... Go to Horny celebration? Joe. Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. No, I will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. Nighty night. Ugh. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. She's still I'll carrying an invisible gun. Sack. You had better get some rest, too. She this said sack. That's the plan. Why did she say sack? She said sack. Why do I want to look in the mirror? Oh my god, that's what I look like, right? I forgot. Oh my god, that's what I look like? <laughs> right, and she wants to be with me? Uh-huh, sure, she's, she's, she's a dummy. Good night. Mm -hmm. There's a girl in the room with me, and I'm ugly. There's a girl in the room with me, and I am ugly. 8-bit though, we'll probably never do an N64 controller. There's a girl in my room, and I'm ugly. Meet me at the Sunset Motel. Garage. I'll be waiting. We did the ghost town. We did ghost town quest. Ghost town quest is done now. How long have you known Pan Am? You known Pan Am for long? Long enough. I remember when she ran her first few dust trails. Used to stop here on her way for a brosif. Never asked her what she was carrying. Maybe that's why she liked me. And then there were those few times she saved my ass, and I hers in a way. She's as solid as they come. The kind of person that'll never leave you out to dry. That's nice. Are most of the customers you get here just passing through? Hmm. Lately, a lot of nomads among them. They come back from the road, stop here to throw back a few, maybe ten. They don't ten. like the night city sober, or what? <laughs> That's a strong possibility. So like drinking and driving's okay in this in this universe. It's okay to drink and drive because it's not okay to drink and drive, kids. If you do it, I'm going to find you. And there will be hell to pay. What now? It looks like rain. No, it doesn't. Look at this big badass motherfucker. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> hey, look, it's my van. All right, so I got to use Lizzie's. Look, it's Lizzie's pistol. But I can't attach any mods to it. Why would I want to use it if I can't attach any mods to it? All 
Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Hey, everybody, say Tyler Dumb in chat, please. Say Tyler Dumb. If you could. Say Tyler Dumb. Say Tyler Dumb. Thank you. Tyler, big dumb. Now that I think about it, you don't have Vinci PD bothering your way out of here. No corpo supply inspections either. You got anything unconventional that I wouldn't find in the city? I'm sure we can find you something. I think she's talking about her coochie. Hell no, I ain't cheating on you. Haloparadol, 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 haloparadol. Everybody. Good Lord. And that's how you make money in Night City. Ew. Crunch. How crunchy. Beep beep. So how many slots does that have? It's got four mod slots and a scope slot. All right. So we make four crunches. One, two, three, and we're out. Okay, hold on. Do you have any of the green stuff? Not right now. Cannot skip time, why? Cannot skip time, why? What's it like playing an engineering build in this? Uh, kind of funny, because you can... Wait, what was that? Oh, it's a vehicle I can buy. You can break it. The, the, the grenades kind of break the game after a while. So... They don't sell the green stuff. Hmm. Okay, well, that's... Interesting. I need the green. Maybe I can make it. Yeah. Half of 177 is what? Like, like 86, 87? Yeah, like 87. And we make a crunch. Blank. Inventory. Doink, 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 doink. Alright, so where does that put it? 907, that's pretty good. Alright, so... Let's take that off, put it on here. And then let's 
move these around. Slot one will be pistol. Slot two will be that. Slot three will be that. All right, slot one. Cool. Oh, wait, I could probably upgrade it. Yep. So now it's up to 923. Pretty good. Okay, so now let's take a look at the handgun perks. There's a lot here. I could reset the points. Hmm, it might be worth it. Maybe not yet. Do I still plan on reporting on Rockstar GTA Online? Yep. You genuinely can't play the game? Yeah, I know, it's a really sorry state of affairs. Reminds me of another game that I used to play a lot of. And let's get this car while we're here. And let's do the quest. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Breathe. That is the worst one I've seen. I'm sorry. Alright, let's check our messages. Sure, we're not missing any replies. All right, a certain team based fortress type game. Hmm. Yeah, something like that. I don't remember. Check the shards. Okay. Good to go. No. Why, you her friend now or something? We chat on occasion. Well then, you really are special. Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Rappins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. A bag of snakes is crooked? Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. And you? Reasonably rested? I think you had nightmares. You screamed a few times. Really? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months this went on. Whatever it is, it'll pass. Yeah, let's hope so. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter no, is not. the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. <sighs> there are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A satwave power station. Power station? Wait, you want to use an EMP? 
bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV system. The drive, nav systems, communications, everything, out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Aren't you, uh, county chickens? We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. Of course we can, but we don't have to. You'll see. It's bound to be quite a ride, but not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know, but I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. Okay. All right. Let's ride. Let's Great. ride. Hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Nope. Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. Yeah. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, B. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. <laughs> what? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. <laughs> he wrote in the trunk. <laughs> Flatlined. Oh, really? Dead. A she long story. She kills Maybe someday people. I'll tell you. Ah, oh, but I do too. It's no big deal. Alright. We're in a car. Driving around in a car. It's night time in a car. We've almost reached the dam. Oh, okay. We'll make a quick stop here. Oh, why? Hey, glucose. We need to calibrate you with a turret. We got chill just a little bit. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Okay. Connect here. Okay. Do we really have to waste our time on this? We do. Unless you've already used one of these without help, while moving, while taking fire from all directions, and still managed to Sarah, hit calm down. But somehow, I don't believe that's the case. So don't argue. Just connect. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Do you think... Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. You are correct. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Johnny, don't fuck her car up, please. Okay. I killed a bunch of people to there get this car back. You see that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. How long Longer do you round. How long do you think? Great. We're done, I think. Like it took this no, game to bad, be put on disc. Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner controllers, all a couple of generations back at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a Kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. Mm. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. 
kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we Johnny. can just get along. People with impressive cocks don't say they have impressive cocks, man. Don't don't say that. Could be something to that, I suppose. Hmm? What happened to us? It must have had some effect. You're That's more you like said. me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Okay, Electra Maybe has officially censored like the C word. Yeah, we are going to say no wiener way. from now on, as as chosen by by Electra. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Okay. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. So we play check- you wanna play checkers? Good. Time to roll. Johnny, you're still here? You wanna play checkers? Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the AAA. Wait, what now? Assessment, assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face, the problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. AAA. That's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. Beer's gross. Your method. Triple A. That all you? <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Elda Caldos. Mitch and Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. What if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost had me believe in just that. You're too much sometimes, V. And you have hair. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Okay. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Let's do it. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. I'll deal with them. Deal quick before they hit us. Bye bye. Good enough. Is that all of them? Mm hmm. Provided we hurry. Bam. Bam. Find the controls. Okay. I'll connect the detonator. Quick V. Okay. Ah, shit. That hurt me pretty bad. That hurt real bad. Ouchie, ouchie. Oh, good lord, I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, now I die. Come on. Breathe. Alright, everybody, I'm dead now. might have overdone it, Pan Am. 
Note to self, don't eat peppers before sleeping. Note to self, make sure that you, uh, eat. Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. Note to self, pay taxes. Note to self, eat. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chance of the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out and work on my best hand. This, this animation is... Oh! Night. Johnny? That animation Johnny. actually looked cool this time. It used to be so weird. Fucking hell. Note to self. Pita poo poo shit. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. It's... It's okay, just... It's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just... Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. That was what good acting, Keanu. Good job. Working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. Okay. The cliff there. We'll set up. I don't... give us a good view of the antennas. I don't see no cliff. And then we wait. Okay. I see roof. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You okay. just wait for my signal. Then set off that pulse. Okay. They won't know what hit them. Okay. And by the way. What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. Okay. How does that make you feel? Blast and shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I Why did you say hear. it like that? That was weird. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. You ever just like wind just intensifies. Wanna play checkers? Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. Pan Am, you seem real nice, but how often do you actually shower? You live in the desert. It's not like there's many, like, bathtubs in the desert. It's there. Coming from Pacifica. Where? All right. I don't see Get it. ready. One more second. One more. Now. Boom. There she is. Shit. What's, What's going happening? on? Great. Just great. Huh? Bullseye. Her hair is hella greasy to pull off a do like that. Yeah. Well. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. Check we this gotta out. Go check this it. out. Check this Give out. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? Coolest thing in the game. Well, not the coolest, but it's pretty sick. She just happens to have that. Like she just happens to have that. <laughs> Why does she have that? That's how you do it. Losing altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. She uses sand like a chinchilla. No All right. Way it stays in the air after if anybody like in the Let chat has ever crash. tried to sand bathe like a chinchilla, yeah. let me know. Push the number 18 if you ever try and bathe like a chinchilla in the sand. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am. Don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! They probably want to help the survivors. I mean, I haven't tried it. They can't Why didn't we just start with the rocket launcher? That's a good question. I have three on radar! Drones? Yes, get ready. Alright, here we go. They're trying to slow us down. Fuck you, we drones. Like we have to reach Mission Scorpion. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Oh, poop. These guys are moving around. Okay, hold on. Wyatt, they're not going down. Head out, bro. Not too shit. Come up with jam scan. I'll fix it. Hold on tight. Going okay. on autopilot. Okay. She's up. Son of a bitch. Going on our tail. Head out. I know. Fucking latches. Don't want to open. And. Second. Ooh. It's nothing. I'm fine. Okay. For the time being, at least. Time being's all we need. So what's going on is Mitch and Scorpion, those two guys from the Aldecados camp, saw the AV get shot down, and they're going to help because they thought, like, you know, maybe some civilians are hurt. Uh, but because we did the EMP blast. We can't tell them, hey, it's a corpo. Don't, please don't, you know? So they have no idea that they're walking into a death trap. Effectively, for those that haven't played the game, that's what's about to happen. Saw it! Behind that hill! Well, one less thing to worry about. Ugh. Also, Pan Am just got Pan shot. Am, okay? Fucking ricochet. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Anybody here actually have not hey, played man, the where game? Are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion. Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? I did. V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. <laughs> Looks expired. By the way, in case uh, anybody doesn't know, those injectors, I usually don't use them. Let's see if I have one. Yeah, this. Um, these aren't needles. They look like, uh, what are they? Uh, like EpiPens, you know, with the button on the top for individuals that are allergic to, what is it, like nuts and bees and shellfish and all that. That's not what this is. This is a new technology specifically that's described in Cyberpunk 2020, I think, where the bottom is actually a highly pressurized air gasket that in a split second causes a chemical reaction that almost like liquefies your skin and then like just for a second. And it uses the air to push the drugs into your your skin, so you don't actually feel anything. There's no needle, there's no pain, um, and you're just fine. Um, and so what she just did was she used a bounce back, but she claimed that it was expired. That's actually a reference to our cut mechanic where your drugs would actually expire, and you would have expired drugs that would do, you know, not as much healing or whatever. However, that was cut alongside a significant amount of drugs. Uh, the majority of the drugs that you hear of throughout the game, like glitter, uh, what's that other one? I forget. Uh, those were going to be in the game. There's going to be a whole bunch of different types of drugs. There's going to be an addiction system, very similar to Fallout. Um, you see, the issue is because they had to ship when they did, which wasn't the initial case. There's many different reasons why they were kind of forced to ship in late 2020. They had to simplify a lot of the game in order to be able to ship it out on time. And they've been slowly building it back. I don't think they're ever going to put the drugs back in. I'd love to see it. Um, but, you know, I don't know. For a game that's so centered around illegal gang life and the underbelly of, of you know... A large industrial city there is very few actual drugs that you can use in the game even though there are a couple that are listed under the consumables um mr whitey is straight up synthetic cocaine and it's just something that's sold in stores um i don't have any mr whitey and also moonshine is just straight up okay a lot of the alcohol is mixed with um different kinds of drugs some of the mixed drinks that that um no they do it does leave a mark on your skin uh the air hypos because it's effectively melting your skin for like a very short period of time uh but you don't feel it uh so it will leave a mark but the mark heals 
uh, especially if you're using synth skin, um, which as you get older and your skin starts to become wrinkled and everything, you can get a procedure to get your skin replaced. Um, older individuals like Victor Vector, especially Rogue, have synth skin. The problem with synth skin is that it, it goes bad quickly and you have to get it replaced every five to ten years. And you can go to a river dock and have that procedure done. Um, I don't know if that was ever going to be something that they planned on doing. You know, if, if, if nowadays they just did, they could, I don't know. They could have done it in the, in the lore by having you recreate your character's appearance at a ripper dock. Uh, but instead you just look in a mirror. So the idea of the character actually using cosmetic, uh, cyberware like synth skin or the metal metallic jewelry or like the lizzy wizzy metallic skin kind of stuff the fashion cyberware stuff i'd love to see it in the game um i don't know if they ever will do it because that is a lot of work for what is effectively a cosmetic that you're never gonna see uh so i don't know if they ever do eventually do a third person mode which i mean i don't hold your breath i really don't think they'll ever do that if they ever do a third person mode, then fashion cyberware and more cosmetic based things are, are highly likely. However, the best that you can hope for is a transmog system. Um, however, and the only reason we know that is because it's in the game right now through a console command. It's an unfinished feature that'll be in 1.6. Pon Pon shit's a drug? Is it really? I mean, I know about blue glass and black lace and all that, and FGR. A fantastic mod by Scissors uh, introduces a lot of those items into the game. Fantastic mod. Highly, highly recommend. When we redo the mod list, once we 100% the game for the video, uh, well, the 1.5 mod list will be based around FGR. Please stop 100%. following. Absolutely. Uh, Magmal72, thank you very much for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. And if you have Twitch Prime, please use it. You don't have to use it on this channel, but you should use it on someone. All right, sorry about that. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Yeah, if you're interested at all in the cyberpunk deep lore kind of stuff, um, read the source books. They won't mark us? I'll enable the masking. Their scanners are out. They're blind. Let's roll. The you devs did the give the impression that third person mm -hmm. would happen. Yeah, but I've spoken with people that have v, done a lot of the cutscenes and stuff. If they got it's a Scorpion, lot of work to do third person. I don't I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. I am not in control. I am on a rail. Like, you have to remember, cutscenes and stuff in Witcher were literal cutscenes. Like, they were scripted oh, no. things. Oh, no. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sorry. And so, in order to Go be ahead. able to... Yes. They're dead. All of them. For them to be able to do that, they would have to redo the majority of the cinematics and if stuff. They... Don't worry. We don't know for sure. Is Pan Am a reference to the Panama Papers? No, she's a reference to the corporate rats. The old uh, Pan American. The Mitch, he's alive. They have them. Can we take it down somehow? Pan Am was the name of a, a like the most successful. What is it called? Airline in the 60s and 70s. It was literally called Pan Am, Pan American. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them. This is all my doing. Why in the hell were they following the AV? Listen, the we fools. saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them, help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. It kind of ties into her like, like nomadic because she like moves around a lot. She's Pan American. She travels all over the country. It's a reference to the, you know, like old, old school American travel. So she's Pan Am. That launcher, it will blow us to bits if we approach. You're already blown to bits. Don't be an idiot. This is just a scratch. Let's take out the launcher. I will try to- No, you stay in the car. Sorry, but you're just gonna slow me down. Fucking hell, V. Those are my people out Listen. there. I get that launcher out of the way, I'll let you know. <sighs> then you go in and help me with the rest. Deal? Yes, sir. Man, I'm, I'm just I trying to help. I still have Mitch's rifle. 
I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. All right, remember, we're using pistols because we have maxed out our assault rifle, and our handgun is only level six, so we have a lot to gain. Uh, after that, we are going to switch to blades, which won't be as easy because we did not put anything into body. Um, however, we will re-roll. Which one's your favorite, third-person storytelling like Witcher or first-person like this? I like first-person better, um, but... I mean, Witcher 3 is a fantastic game either way. And I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and that's third person. So I guess I don't really have a, a true preference, but I do tend to gravitate towards uh, first person. So I don't know. Your cyberpunk crashed. Now you're watching me. So I didn't invest into tech weapons at all. So we're gonna see how this goes. Oh. The fire is doing a lot of damage. Like, wow. All right, so those are taken out. I am using... How do you take these out? I can't hack them, I don't have... How do you take these out? I know I can charge it, but how the hell do I take the launcher out, take out the turret? Oh, I have to jack into it? Right, I forgot about that. You're right. Path clear. All right, cool. I'm coming for you. That was an unfiltered voice line that's supposed to be stated through a... Uh... There's a lot of that. The audio is... I mean, I understand that with a game like this, there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of lines of dialogue that need to be looked over, but there are so many times where they're talking through, you know, some kind of phone or communications device, and it jumps back and forth between having a filter and not having a filter. Kind of annoying. Now! Step back! Toss your weapons, or I'll shoot! I repeat, drop your weapons, now! Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? Damn, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. How you doing, cutie? How you people. doing, whatever your name's Great supposed people. to mean? They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything. See anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West, small unit, your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. 
So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... ...couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch, I'll be fine. I am going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I've never I seen Dexter. Don't argue with her, V. No point. So I don't Go. know if she looks I'll like Deborah people. from we'll Dexter. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun; it likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. Dope. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. Yes, we should. But Pan Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. All Let's right. get going before yep. they send a rescue party. I can wait here as long as I want. A rescue party will never come. Don't lie to me about extra features in this game. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you sell. Can you romance Pan Am? Yep. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash. You help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. I mean, I got you your into helmet. this situation. I will find but... him. Ah, so that's okay. what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help. Is it own. a gender exclusive romance? Oh, oh, so, when you play a male bodied, male voice character, you can romance Carrie and Pan Am. When you're a female body, female voice character, you can romance Judy and River. So, there's that. I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. Right. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. Your voice can change it. Yes, it can. Scorpion said I would hate my city. He knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would stock up on Ken Kibble. Oh wow, it's Cyberpunk. Can't wait for the future. Beep boop beep bop. He said we would get away from it all. I don't know. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. Why is everything shit shit shit? Hey, I know. Look, you're alive. All I see is cracked concrete and rust. But they thought they would call their friends. So, from what I've heard, the reason that they gender locked the romances was because they wanted to write characters that had actual, like, strict sexual orientations. You know what I mean? Like, Pan Am is a straight woman. Judy is a lesbian, you know, so they're they're not just gonna change their sexual orientation just so that, you know, you have, you know, whatever, like, their characters with strict likes and dislikes, do you know what I mean? The rest must have taken Hellman with them. That's all. Better hurry, then. At least that's how Pavel's described it. Speaking of which, he's streaming today, so... Oh, shoot. Oh, God, that glitch is back. Oh, you can't be serious, bro. Infinite. That loot is probably, like, miles away. That happens sometimes. I thought they fixed that bug. I guess not. Oh, that- the- the distant loot 
uh, notifier thing has been in the game for a really long time. Since day one, really. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I'll say that... This is the first time in like 55 hours that I've seen it. It used to be a constant thing in 1.2 specifically. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. My stuff. It's probably lead up past the hill to an old filling station. What? I wager that's what they're holding helmet. What just happened? Okay, clip that for me, please. I think my bike just exploded. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, someone please clip that. That was, uh, something. It's, it's a feature okay. of the future, is it really? Drones, patrols, definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Oh yeah. Buffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place. It happens were quite often, to be honest. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. Camo rocks. Soon that's enough. probably what it is. Don't worry, guys. The game is nearly fixed. Copium. Good lord. I like Hassan too. But that word is ruined. Alright, we've got 94 perks to spend. Let's think about it. I have taken away all of our perks. And we are going to... See what we can do. Um, okay. So I need Edge Runner Artisan. So let's look at our crafting perks. We need that. So it allows you to craft legendary gear. So the stuff of like allows you to craft certain types of gear, we need that. Allows you to craft epic items. True Craftsman. Thanks for the clip. Please don't post links in chat. There's that one. Okay. So, what else in crafting should I take? Crafted weapons, no. Grants a 10% chance to up- we're not upgrading anymore. Reduces component of crafting items by 15%. Uh, okay. The mod disassemble perk is great. Yes, I agree. Which one is that? That one reduces component cost of upgrading. I'm not doing that anymore. Allows you to upgrade lower quality components. No. 20% chance of crafting an item for free. Um, no, we don't need that anymore. Crafted weapons. No. Crafted clothing. No. Gain more components when disassembling. No. No. Grenades deal 10% more damage. Yes. Effect duration of consumables, yes. Okay, engineering. Tech weapons ignore armor, yes. Fully charged tech weapons do not shoot automatically. No. Grants immunity to shock, yes. Uh, reduces the charge amount needed for tech weapons to penetrate walls, no. Nah. Smart weapon reload speed, and nah. Allows you to charge tech weapons up to 75 capacity, yes. Grenades deal damage, yes. Re 
Reduces damage taken from explosives by 10%. Eh, nah. When looting drones, no. No. Increases damage to drones, mechs, and robots by 20%. No. Yes. No. Sure. Sure. Yes. Yep. Sure. Okay. Cool. Cold blood. Very, very important. After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood. Yep. Alright. Resistances, no. Reduces quick hack, no. Reduces weapon recoil, no. Attack speed, nope. Upload time. Armor. Yes. Melee. Headshot damage. Yes. Health regen. Yes. One at a time. Yep. 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 Where's the reload? Increase ranged weapons damage by 10%. Reduces quick hacks. Reduces resistances. Increases that, yeah. There's a reload one, right? Increases attack speed. That's melee, quick hacks. I'm not a quick hacker. Melee, what is this? Increases damage with melee weapons. But that's a gun. Quick hack cooldowns. Nah. Alright, ninjutsu. Temporarily boost movement speed, no. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of the word where it's like when someone's talking and you can't understand the word they're saying. It's nonsensical? No. Like you can't distinguish like what they're saying. Indistinguishable? No. I don't know. Sorry. Gibberish? Incoherent. Incoherent. She was looking for incoherent. All knives apply poison. No. Enemies affected by poison cannot sprint. No. While in stealth, no. Nope. Pick up an enemy bodies immediately after performing a takedown. Nah. Immunity to poison. Does poison come up that often? What do you guys think? Do I take this one? Aggressive antitoxins. Sorry, my mic, I need a new mic. Um, upon entering combat, crit chance increases by 10% for seven seconds. Yep, that sounds good. Any other of these that I should take that you guys recommend? I've pretty much finished all the gigs, so all the necessary sneaking is gone. Hmm. For now, I think that's it. Alright. So... Quickly, let's look at the body. Health regenerates during combat. Health regen threshold. Health regen. Yeah. 
Um, anything in intelligence? No. The air attack perk is fun. No, we're not going for fun. We're going for, you know, as as insane as we can. All right, which ones are pointless now that I've fully leveled it up? Um, let's see. Increases damage with rifles and submachine guns by 30 35% when standing still. Each headshot reduces recoil. No. Crit damage. Increases armor and resistances while aiming with submachine guns behind cover. Mm, I don't know. No. Mm, no. Yes. Reduces. No. Increases crit chance with rifles and submachine guns by 4%. No, we're not doing the cover ones. We'll do that. No. Sure. No. Sure. No. Sure. No. No. Okay, handguns. Somehow I have every perk available to me, even though I'm only level 6? What the hell? What? Alright. After a successful headshot with a pistol, crit chance increases. Okay. Firing consecutive shots with a pistol or revolver at the same target increases damage. Okay. Dodges while aiming. No. Yes. Increases mitigation chance. 20% for 5 seconds after performing a dodge. No. Recoil. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do that. Wait. Ah, poop. That's for revolvers. I just ate a frig. I'm not using a revolver. Dang it. No. Okay. Okay. Increases damage to limbs with pistols and revolvers by seven. Nah. Nah. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then... I guess we'll do that one. What else is here? We're not upgrading anymore. Maybe that one. Cool. So... Now I can equip my items again. <sighs> ah, cool. All right, let's do it. Do I have any of those health items? I mean, we'll eat and drink, I guess. Check this out. Bye. Woo wee. I'm in. Helmet. He has to be.
You're gonna try and remove damage related perks to challenge yourself. Oof, all right. That's a good challenge. I'm still, still hearing a sniper. So, there you are. All right, so there's a turret over there. Try and do a build based around those crappy one-use vendor guns. Ha! <laughs> That's actually really funny. That would... Ha! Huh, that would be interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those, like, disposable vending machine guns, right? Index parts are back in stock. Does that mean Index 2 is canceled no, forever? No. no. What the hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. What an ethic. Brought a man with him. A man I need. A civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping them there. Thanks. If I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Okay. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. Cool. Yeah, with the right perks, this gun's insane. We're gonna... We're, we're really gonna level up with this... Cold Blood bought to 15. Cold Blood can only go up to, I think, 16 in this build because cool is, yeah, cool is 16. Uh, handguns are going up quick. We really should have slept before we came here, though. Got the extra points, but we'll do that for the next round of single player stuff. This whole Pan Am questline thing from going to meet her at the car to getting Hellman. Kind of crazy. Did you see that Jerma got a Streamy Award yesterday? What's a Streamy Award? I did not. I don't know what a Streamy Award is. Good for Jerma. Love the guy. Good friend. Streamer Awards. I don't know what that... They, there's, there's Streamer Awards now? Sleep also affects sublevels. Sleep only affects sublevels. Gotta be a place to put the bodies. Hell yeah! Girl, I'm, I'm not doing anything. What are you talking about? Is there a place to put bodies anywhere? Or what? There's awards for everything now? Yeah, it does seem like that. I mean, good for Jerma. He, he deserves to be recognized for being probably the most creative person in this entire industry, but I didn't know there was an award for Twitch streamers now. Is that a 
like a Twitch run thing. Pretty big event. Oh, cool. Again, I don't, I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff. I'm too busy. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? Home? Pathetic rats got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up Not already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of. I don't think I'll ever do a 24-hour stream. Don't take this personally. Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. So cynical. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. I like this little moment. Well done. Looks like your new chimbas are here. <laughs> is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. So the guy, Mitch and Pan Am, came out to rescue him? That is the word. Stay the right AV there. The that came down and Scorpion. The cavalry it's all has related. arrived. Mitch gathered together no a few of the <coughs> landed a contract. The road was clear. I don't so think we Oh, Pan Am, good job. We still do too? better not to hang around to me, too all long. these things seem straight out of step. What do you plan to do with him? Mitch. We should talk to Mitch. Trust me. The less you know, the better. Tell me next time, then. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. That's all I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping Pan, Pan Am, me. that's the my gun goal. is in your body my now. Fault you should that put the gun down. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're Ronaldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. They added that sound effect to her kicking finally. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. 
And you. <laughs> Deadly. You yes. look out for yourself, all That's right? That's pretty funny. So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Hmm, okay. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. I'll ever play Half-Life 2? No, you must that? have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Do you ever get that void feeling when you finish a game or show you really liked? All the time. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And of you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. Mm. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? <laughs> the biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... ...neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Hmm. How do you put a price on immortality? Please stop following. Thank you for following like Dark. Nobody. Ooh. This model was meant to remain in house. The prototype was Saburo Arasaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire if you're project. If the channel, please so follow. If for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive.
impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Hmm. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo -hoo, do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is <laughs> to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like? ...to have two personalities. Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion. But he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn It's not host. as if one of you wins <laughs> the debate. The scale simply shifts. Slowly but surely. That's such a good scene. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. The timing you between voice lines is significantly improved. In earlier versions of the game, these conversations were awkward as hell because the, they would talk over each other, there'd be long pauses. The timing between, it's, it's this is perfect now. Time. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. He just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. V. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. V how many how many slots do you have? Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? Don't don't answer that question. I, I realize what I've said. What'll you do with it? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. 
So you found uh, Helmut and got what to show for it? Is positively Empty parched. promises. Mm. We did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhuman. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. Does the scene continue at all, or... I should probably leave. Ah, fuck! That was wrong with you. Ah, I'm not sure. Still want to find Parker? Shape you're in? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommish before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? Run with the mech bulls. The better timing the makes the story so to much better. What I started, oh my god. I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out. So I'm gonna need you in. Might even laugh if it didn't hurt so much. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win win, kid. Mm hmm. Soul killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. You are correct. You know you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Should just ignore you. And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing, and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven Ooh. letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so... This Makoshi... What is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of. ...where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are ya? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Hmm. Bet it still is today. Telling ya, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. This is probably where CD Projekt is at their absolute best, is when they're just, like, telling stories and stuff. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Hey, Chief, Got I... another nuke tucked away? My wife's behind me, and this she has time, to turn Bob's off the named camera. Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will, once we find what we need. Dope. Thanks, Johnny. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. Hey, makes sense. How am I doing today? I'm great, actually. 9 out of 10. How are you doing, bro? Alright. I'll finish that quest. That quest is finished. So, 
really good. I love that quest. That whole that whole line of quests is great. We have so many side quests to do. We still have so many cars to buy. But we have already done so friggin' much of this game. It's insane how much this game has, dude. It's so crazy. Alright, so... What was the real story behind that epilepsy freakout early on? So... The hardware that's used for brain dances is very similar to hardware that's used to actually induce seizures um, for those that, that do operations and such. Um, and they actually, for some reason, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, when they started a brain dance in the release version of the game, it actually did the same kind of light pattern that that material, that that, that thing used. So it wasn't like a, you know, a stupid seizure freakout. It literally was, they were showing epileptics the kind of hardware that medical professionals would use to induce a seizure for examination under proper conditions. Um, my wife is epileptic, so I'm a little familiar with that kind of technology. And I love yeah, a lot of what CDPR does. Very dumb. <laughs> very, very dumb. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Uh, Alright, can't hear on my ear, need to go to a dock. What are you talking about? Did you do the quest where Ayano is in? What? I don't... I don't... I don't think so. In the big world! Hey, Chivak, are you okay? Man, how long is this effect going to go on for? My ears is full of wax. Oh, I know that feeling. Right, 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 right. Okay. But one of Ayano's face is in a quest. <laughs> it is. Why? So, can you hear me or not? Alright, so... I'd like to finish... The Cyber Psycho quest. But I don't know what the last Cyber Psycho is. can hear on your right side. That sucks. So... The Wasteland... Becomes available after completing life during wartime. Okay, well I did that. So maybe we load a save. Why would it be free if you waited till the end of the month? Also, don't they just like use a little vacuum? And, like that, like liquid that dissolves it? 
So I've completed that quest, so... There's that cyber psycho in the Badlands. Is it considered a... a side quest, or...? Where does it show up on the map? Oh. Yeah, okay, it is a side quest. Hmm. So, Cyber Psycho the Wasteland. No, it's not any of those. It's the road down. There's a road that goes down, so it's like about there. Yeah, if I wait, it would be part of my care package from work, but I kind of want to hear again. Oh. Oh, hello. Ooh, muddy bodies. Hey, I've been thinking a lot about things about the ship with Saul and Mitch and Scorpion. The family I had, lost, left, adopted. I can't know if this is fucking complicated. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm in the city, free to do whatever with my life. But fuck, am I really free? If I left my old life just because things started to get a little inconvenient, that would mean I'm always just going to be running. Does that make sense? Maybe Mitch was right. You should go back, settle everything once and for all. And even if, what about Saul? I can't change him, and I can't change what I think about him, so don't go lecturing me on compromises, please. I didn't mean to, but trust me, you can live with someone you don't always get along with. It sounds corny, but it's true. You'll see. Do you know what quest she's in? I don't. It's not letting me skip time for some reason. Oh, hello. Hello, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. My am I asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. Oh, hi, we'll explain I, uh... everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. What's this about? What's so delicate about the matter? I'd rather discuss that in person, if you don't mind. Can we meet? Alright. Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Bye. Best damn quest line in the game, that one. Ayano, apparently your face is in one of these quests. Chivak was saying. Is that true? There's the cyber psycho. What quest is it? You get it from Dino? Oh, I've already done all the gigs. Which gig was it? Why is your face in a gig? <laughs> you probably killed her? Probably. Hey V, a truck hauling cyberware crashed in the Badlands. It's top grade chrome, but the NCPD's not in much of a hurry. Tells me they suspect the cyber psycho's the cause, and it's got them spooked. Check it out, but no killing if you can help it. Which quest was it? Well, well, well. Tyler, you didn't notice. How could you? I'm just asking which quest it was. And we did all of Dino's quests yesterday.
guinea pigs. Which one was that? Oh. So did you play the Joanne Coke character? The uh, the woman that that for, that works for the corporation. Because I did kill her. Yeah. I snuck into her building got into her apartment without anybody being alerted, talked directly to her, and then she said, let me, oh, let me upload the stuff. You know, just let me upload it. I know you're gonna kill me, but I knew that she was gonna just call security. So when I said, no thanks, she ran. And so I just shot her. What's the second way of solving it? Where she gets transported back with a garbage disposal unit? What? The non-lethal way seemed really cool, but it bugged. What's the non-lethal way? Hey, this ain't over, you know. Before you worked for um, CDPR, how many years of scam training did you have to take? Nine years of scam training, damn, they really do make sure you know how to scam. the achievement, I am the law. So, honest question then, what is, I, I don't know if you've answered this yet or not, but what is the alternate way of solving guinea pig? If there actually, like, is one... knock her out and get her to the roof. Uh, what happens then? You dump her into a flying trash can. She gets transported out of the city to the nomads. Oh, okay. Do you see her later, then? Like, is she at one of the nomad camps? Like that one woman? Nah. 
she was some stuck up corpo lady. You know. I'm not gonna give her the benefit of the doubt, you kidding? So if you knock her out, yeah, okay, so if I used a non-violent, if I used like a non-lethal gun, it would have worked out better, I guess. That makes sense. So I got the I Fought the Law achievement, which is all the cyber psychos, right? I am the law. Okay. Destiny 2. Destiny Poo, got him. Alright. That gun doesn't have a slot on the wall. Wait, yes it does, it's right there. You clean up your inventory nicely. Thank you. Alright. Look at that dumb item that I don't know what it is. Report. Misc. Zero pounds. One dollar. Common. Blank access card, blank access card, blank access card. V, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. So what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you. Murdered in cold blood. Made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. So you want me to murder someone? Wait. This isn't the Dalai Lama. Must have gotten the wrong number. You didn't arrive in this pond yesterday, V. You know how the fish gets sliced. The perp being proven guilty, meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? Me and make quick what love you, Eugene. Exactly? Thy passionate gamer. Hope you are doing well, my dude. You want Keep the, the passion up. Alright, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh, in a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Cool. You're level 50 for doing side quests, right? So, I am level 50 with Street Cred 50 because I spent the first 50 hours of the game doing nothing but gigs and NCPD side hustles. And as you can see... I did all of them. And that knocked me up to 50 before I really did any of the side jobs or main jobs. So... 
You use in German VR for the TTS? Why? I don't know. It sounds fun. I use a, a Polish one for the donation sounds. Yeah, so the point of this playthrough is to break, uh, break the game as much as I can. Break progression, I mean. And I did. And now the main quest is supremely Please easy. stop following. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Um, Young Sinatra, again, thank you for the tier 1 sub for 26 months. I hope you're doing well. That was close. Average temperatures this month in Night City have remained within human safety limits. And dead. Okay. I just saw a purple loot at the bottom of the fucking mega building. That's rude. Why hide loot down there if I can't get down there? Get that call again. Who do I spy? A happy new gunner, I hope. Gun owner. A happy new gun owner, I hope. What do we got here? Hmm. A lot of crap. A happy new. We've got lots of crap up here. Owner, I hope. Hey Wilson, buy a bunch of these for me. Thanks. to explore out of bounds and there are some places where it's possible So close. That was close. You see how close I got? Let's try that again. Let's try that again. That was sick. Alright. Oof. Nope. Okay, so that's the death plane. That bottom floor there is the death plane. There are some invisible walls, but I know CDPR. This game's too big for them to be able to check everything. Oh yeah, I've seen deconstructing the game. Yes. Ah, fuck. Once you start following, it's tough to strafe. Alright, can I crouch on this? I want to get... Ah, piss. So there's a little ledge there, but those bottom floors have invisible walls blocking you from ledge grabbing. So what I'm interested in is... Can you find a hole? You know what I mean? Like down there. Can I get... can I get there? Put a death plane there. Tell Miles to, you know, plant some trees or something. 
Okay, so there's a death plane there. Let's go as low as the game lets us, which is right here. I want to get down there. Why show me such a cool looking area if I can't explore it? stairs right there. Man. Hmm. I wonder if I fall while crouching. Can I snake my way in? Might be able to. Someone found a safe area down there? Yeah? I should have used a pistol for that. Man. I hate how small the mega building actually is. I also hate how this is the only damn mega building you can actually explore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, how about instead of going down, let's go up. Don't even try and ask about Cyberpunk Online for those working on Cyberpunk. Just want to get on the ledge. Get me on- there you go. Keep jumping. <sighs> I mean, Cyberpunk Online, would they open up base game areas? I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yo, know, there's loot. It's always a dried, sun-filled week, lady. Can I get there? I'm curious. No. I swear to god, I'm gonna find a safe way to get low. Like, as low as possible, so I can actually explore this mega building. Because there is some epic loot at the bottom of this building. So obviously, at some point, you were able to get down there. Ah, damn it. Uh, 
what I'm hoping is if I get to, like, a side of the building that people aren't supposed to be at, maybe I can find a way to get out of bounds or find a way to snake myself over. Why doesn't that ever show elevators? What if I try and fall down that elevator shaft? <laughs> what would happen? Man, those it goes up high in here, huh? I wanna get up there. I mean, obviously you can just no clip. Like, that's an option. And then this area you can just actually get to. Like, that's a real area. Oh, okay. That's a death plane. Man. Yeah, who who wants to explore the mega building? A building called the mega building. Yeah, no one. I'm stupid for wanting to try. Yeah, this is just a real area. So then my question is... Can I do anything over here? Alright, let's fall down. Let's fall down the yeah, let's fall down the elevator shaft. You don't die until you hit the ground. I wonder if I can ledge grab onto something and save my ass. Man, who knew that was possible? Me. Oof. The elevator's not even down there. Where's the elevator? What if I were to stack... Okay, so I'm dying from fall damage. That's not a death plane, right? So in my head, it's like, okay, what if you were to somehow reduce falling damage as much as possible? Could you survive it? A late double jump possibly could save you, but there's a point where the double jump stops working, you know? Maybe I try and get closer. What if I try and get closer? Yeah, they delay double jumps now. Is there another platform I can get to that's closer to it that won't kill me? Like that. That'll probably kill me. Oh, I can get here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, Chivok. Chivok, I don't know. How, if you're still here, how does, this, how does this make you feel, what I'm doing? So part of that has... So over there is the death plane, but over here is not. I admire the dedication. I mean, what else do you expect from such a passionate gamer? Okay. Alright. 
Let's jump on to that elevator platform there. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm on the other side of the elevator. <laughs> okay. Call. It's actually coming up. Ooh, that's close. <laughs> How about that? Can you get on top of the elevator? Ooh, that's a good question. You call the elevator and then before it gets up, you get on top of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Call the elevator. And then let's get on top of it. And then we gotta somehow tell the elevator to go down. low as I've gotten so far. That is definitely a death plane. However, that might not be safe. Ah, oh, piss, that was close. I think you can quick hack it. Uh, you can quick hack an elevator to, to move? I don't think you can. It does. It does. There's an invisible wall there. But I'm very close. I'm very close. Huh. Okay. Okay, so there's an invisible wall on that side. You see, in my head, they didn't expect somebody to get in certain places, right? Pawn shop. See, there's a call elevator button. An a it's like a usable one. You cannot convince me that this was not at one point plans to be an explorable location. I can... Yep. Ah, oh, piss off. Okay, so... I can ledge, but that's a death plane. So, let me think. See, I want to get on that grate right there, but there's an invisible wall blocking me from doing it. I can get myself on the ledge there, but that is a death plane. I wonder if this is a death plane, though, because that's a ledge. I could get on that ledge. Right there, on that sign. 
Damn it. Damn it. This is tough. What if you slow time before jumping? Huh. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, what if I do that? We get ourselves. Damn it. Never mind. Hold on. I'm getting to the bottom of the mega building. You see, the thing is, I'm sure the whole... Part of me thinks that the death plane is actually above the floor. Because you always die before hitting the floor. Right? Slowing time does not help. <laughs> Slowing time does not help. Like, I feel like actually walking on the bottom floor is possible. It's just... Getting there is tough. Bottom was explorable in the past, you're correct. Man, that's so stupid. Touching that area at all kills you. But I wonder if the area right below it is fine. That's the death plane, right? But the death plane has to be connected with somehow. Right? So if I do a running jump... Doesn't have a ledge grab on it. I need to somehow air strafe over. This ain't source engine though, so I don't know the proper way of air strafing here. I'll have to let go of W and just hold S or A, right? So running jump, double jump, S. Ah, oh, damn it. I think there are hover legs, yeah, but the double jump legs are going to be significantly more useful here. Yeah, yeah, the mega buildings are super empty. And the thing is, like, player act, player controlled garages, like actual garages, at some point were planned, and it's just like, damn, I want those. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I, I hit something. I hit something. Did you see that? I bounced off of something. Okay. Just the corner. Okay, so the death plane ex extends that whole x-axis. Huh. I need to snake under it somehow. in that general direction. Oh. Okay. Okay. I should have saved. I should have saved. Chivok, if I make it down there, do you think you could help get, like, a picture of me put down there as, like, the...
the man who lived or something like that. Save. Just, just go down one floor. Oh my god, you take away my double jump so quick. need to get down one more floor. I just need to get down to that ledge. You see, this area seems like the perfect place. Uh, have we met? What? Oh, hi. Yeah, no. As soon as I start falling, I, I do not have a jump. What about that sign? Do you think that sign has collision? Oh, that was close. That was as close as I've gotten. Ha. Huh. Okay. We're aiming for the sign. That's that's our current goal, guys. <gasps> oh, it does have collision. The sign does have collision. I just I just I just vaulted up. Man, I wish those loading times were... Oh... Buddy. Oh, buddy. Please do not kill me. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Does this work? No. So there's a wall. This is as low as I've gotten so far. There is a wall blocking me from, from getting onto that floor, at least right here. So... This ledge right here around this sign doesn't seem to work. However... That lift area might be safe. Because it's it's a place the player actually needs to, to go to, right? Um so let's just do a couple stupid things. I'm gonna try and that neon sign, the neon sign above the store that had collision. Okay, we're getting closer. That right there had collision. Right there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're close. Okay, okay. Oh, damn. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm positive that if I touch the floor is lava. I'm positive that if I touch that floor, I'm dead. But save. Okay, let's try it. Yeah. Okay, floor is lava. What is our next move? The floor is lava, but is the furniture lava? Are the props lava?
because that was a kill as soon as I hit the floor. Are the props lava? Is that lava? No, it is not. Okay, we know. Um, is that table lava? Yes. Okay, what is the next move? What is the next move? Because part of me thinks that the only way I can get to the bottom is by finding a hole in one of the balconies and finding a staircase down. Because I have a feeling that every that there's like an invisible trigger all throughout that top bit that will kill me on contact. You know what I mean? These stairs are suspect as hell. Oh, that there's just a big wall there. Okay. There's just a big invisible wall at that staircase. That's just too easy. Okay. What's up? You had a dream you were inside Cyberpunk? That's cute. So there are, there are CD Projekt employees here and I'm trying to go out of bounds to the bottom of this building that's supposed to kill you and I'm I'm, I'm doing quite well. <laughs> I'm I'm very excited because I've never been able to explore this building and I've really wanted to. So, what is the next play? Maybe that sign over there? You see, I hate waiting. You know, I hate waiting through each of the loading screens. Hmm. I, see, I have a feeling that it really is just, like, a plane all across this floor to kill the player, right? So that they can't go out of bounds. There's an invisible wall here, right at the edge of this staircase, so I can't go into the staircase. Um, that, that would be perfect if I could. I can't place a vehicle, no. I am curious if I throw a grenade, what'll happen? <laughs> what'll happen? Okay. So a crime has been reported. Right. How are the police gonna get to me? So they're running over there. That's where their pathfinding is taking them. But they're just kind of running in circles because there is no exit. Try to get in from the corner. You see, I think it's just one big block of, you know, like a push instead of being just like a thin wall. Oh, I think I know the next play. I think I have to land on that grate right there. Okay, let's try that. Oh, screw you. Is there a way to see ET your coordinates under the end? Yeah, of course there is, but we're not trying to cheat. We're trying to get there by completely vanilla means. Okay, so if I come at it from this side, it kills me. If I come at it from the other side, I survive and I hit the ground. Maybe what happened there was I hit the ground. I'd like, I don't know, what happened there? No, there's no way to sneak in through that way. That'd be perfect, too, because I know there is no death plane at the bottom of those stairs. Because why would you put it there? Because players shouldn't be able to get there. I swear to God, guys, I'm gonna do it. We're going to do this somehow. We're gonna find the hole. Whoa. What? Hold on. What? Felt like it was a gift from God. Just put a prop there. <laughs> like maybe I could stand on it. Could you imagine if that just happened? Why was that there? Why did that spawn there? It's gone. Why was that there? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. So let's try a running jump from over here. 
Oh, that would have been great. So, what is the highest point at the bottom that may be above the death plane that I can jump onto? Because that might help me find the hole. It's back. <laughs> Why is that spawning there? <laughs> It's below the death plane. If I, it, it, like, if it was just a bit higher, that'd be amazing. Like, maybe that prop, I tried that table, it killed me. I want to try that sign or that ledge. Throw a nade at it. All right. <laughs> Didn't do anything. I'm just gonna start throwing nades, see what happens. Because the cops, like, what are the cops going to do? They're going to come all the way down here? I'd be shocked. There, cops are called. I'm really curious as to what the cops do. If anything. Oh, hey. Okay, so there's AI pathfinding down here. Another piece of evidence that Pavel was lying when he said that you, this wasn't originally planned. Oh. What if I jump onto whatever that is? Stop taking away my double jump. Stop it. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> When is Regina going to call me? Can you jump on the drone? Oh, now that's an idea. Can you jump on the drone? Alright, I'm going to just try this again real quick. Get in the middle! Oh, that's it. That's the play. That's it right there. I figured it out. It's it Get on that little concrete divider between the two elevators. That's literally the play. Because I could then call the elevator from the doors and use that. Yeah, but I missed the barrier. Sure, but I just don't miss the barrier. Just do better jump. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well... I made it. I'm literally at floor level. I literally just... I, I am at floor level. If I grab this, it will kill me. Yeah. Okay. This is insanity. Chivak Ayano, you better still be here. Man, this is a puzzle game. Man, this is like main channel content if I edit this bit together. Oh, poop. Alright. Let's get over this one. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? I survived the fall? I'm, I'm outside the mega building now. You see, now this is an idea. Accessing... Ugh. This is an idea. What if you were able to access the bottom floor of that mega building from street level? I mean, I'm already here, and it'll just get you back up to where I'm at right now. But it's still... It's still an idea. Alright. Well, now I'm down here, and I'm curious if there's another hole that I could abuse. Oh, that sounds wrong. Don't don't say it like that. Ah! Dude, we're doing it. We're act like, honest to God, I think we're actually going to do it somehow. Unless literally just 
feet to the floor kills you, I, l I do think we're actually going to do it. But even then, I have a feeling that not the whole floor is going to kill you. Alright, where the hell did I just land? Ah, fart. Yeah, okay. This is how you get to the back rooms, guys. This this is literally how you get to the back rooms. You see, here's the thing. There's an elevator button on the other side of this door. Right? Okay. Yeah, there's an elevator button right there. What I'm curious about... Can we somehow, like, through a wall, glitch it open? Hmm. You see, I have an idea, and I, I don't think it'll work, but, I mean, we don't have so many option options. Like, what if I try and hop over this? You know. So close. Oh, I can taste it. It's so close. I don't know what just killed me. But I have a feeling... It was because I overshot the jump. Hmm. Okay, let's not aim for the top. Let's aim for the- oh, there's no- there's nothing there. Okay. Fart. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. The top of the elevator is the kill box, as far as I can tell. What I'm curious about is... And this is a stupid idea. What if I force myself through the elevator door, through an explosion. Can I... Is that possible in this game? Hmm. Yeah. Is there... Are there any animations that let you clip through geometry? That's what I want to know. I have an idea. NPCs can open doors, right? So what if I just start shooting at stuff? Get a three-star wanted level, and maybe like Max Tech or something will come at me. And open this door for me. Hearing people firing at me. Oh my god, they're here. They're here. I just gotta hold my ground. I'm just gonna stay in the corner and keep using these. Damn it. Oh god, where am I? That is an invisible... Oh... Okay, discovery. We have made a discovery. I 
wonder if this is solid. It is not. Okay. We have made a discovery. That floor is not solid. Can I jump up? And get to the bottom floor through the floor. Oh! Oh, I was positive I saved. Alright. At least I know how to do it. Like, that was pretty easy. It's that grate there. <laughs> I'm stressing Jeevok out. Now we need to get on that yellow bit. Fart. It was tough getting up there in the first place. Why didn't I save? I was positive I saved. Yeah, PC players can install a mod and get to the bottom. That's not the point. I'm trying to prove that without mods, CDPR made it possible to do this. Good. All right, there you go. Come on, come on, don't. There you go. All right, we're back. Save. Oh, that's right. I was in combat. I couldn't save. That's why it didn't save. Right. Okay, so this Z fighting bit is not solid. The ones that aren't Z fighting are the ones that are solid. Save. Running. Oh, that didn't. I didn't do the run. Yeah. All right. As a console player, this makes me very. Yeah, I saved while in combat, so I didn't save. That's why I didn't pres preserve my location. I'm totally gonna edit this bit and put it on the main channel. This is insane. So I need to get up there. Maybe there's another way. I am truly out of bounds, which is neat. Oh, fart. Man, this is a puzzle. Maybe here? And then... Over here? Yeah? Okay, save. Alright, so this platform is trying to kick me off of it. I don't know where I am right now. Okay, well it was solid for a second. Oh, I mean, the fact that we have consistently made progress on this project for the last 40 minutes means that we're gonna do it eventually. Because every single thing I've done so far has made me feel like, oh, okay, well, this is the end of it, you know? See, I need to get up there now. I, it, it, that's where I want to be, right there. I'm so close. We're underneath. Save. That's not solid. Ah. That's the end cart train track. Did I keep all the previous saves? No, I've just been quick saving. Holy shit, I just found a way to get onto the end cart track again. Crunch Plaza, here we come. That's for another day. <sighs> okay, so that's not solid. That would have been helpful if it was, but that's fine, whatever. There's an invisible wall right here. Okay. I just need to stand on this. Oh, cool. Okay. There. Okay. 
If you don't know what crunch plat... <laughs> oh, good jump. If you don't know where... Oh my god, I'm so close. If you don't know what Crunch Plaza is, I recommend looking it up. Uh, Deconstructing the Game has some good videos on it. I'm so close, yet I have no idea what to do now. Is it solid? Oh! Just one block. Ugh. Holy shit, I'm so close, guys. Z-fighting is a reference to the fact that it's fighting on the Z-axis, you dumbos. It's kind of dark down here? Yeah, I know. It- I'm- it- I'm- it- <laughs> Like, it, it's- it's so insanely... close. Where we're at right now. It's just the thing is, like... The problem that we're dealing with now is that a lot of the stuff that has collision isn't even displaying properly. Like, it's getting called out because it's not supposed to be seen out of bounds. I need to know how much space I have here, because even with a, a, just a tiny run, you can do so much with, with double jumps and, and just a tiny amount of sprint. You see, there's just, unfortunately right now, it's kind of just blind jumping, because I can already tell by running into stuff that there's a bunch of stuff around me that has collision. Like, there's collision right above me. So I'm hitting my head on something. Right? So maybe I just... I just try and use these things as, as almost like a ladder. Yeah, like that. So I just take a running jump. Oh my god, there's something there. Oh, it's just that wall. loading the save. Show this to Miles. I think he'll love it. <laughs> so once I'm down here, I'm not going to shoot on anybody just yet. Yeah, I'm hitting my head on something. Right there. There's a ridge right there. I wonder if I could... Oh, I passed it up. Let's try it again.
This is tough. I know there's a, a, a some solid object above my head. And I know that you can kind of ladder yourself up with the right kind of jump. But the problem is... Uh, getting yourself to, to circle back is really hard. All these walls that I'm seeing are just so slightly out of reach. You know? What am I hitting my head on? Because there's something there. It's the same kind of thing that I'm standing on. Let's drop down. Cut. What exactly you're trying to reach? The bottom floor of the mega building that V lives in. I somehow was able to find a way under the map. Just up there. Just right there. That's where I want to be. Right above me. <clears throat> Part of me thinks that if I just, like, step slightly backwards... The culling... You won't be able to do much there anyways? That's not the point, Reno. Come on. See? Bump, bump, and then that's right there, and it's the same thing. There's like a secondary floor. That's what I'm hitting my head on, is this ceiling. That's a ceiling. And it ends right there. Okay, so what I'm hitting is a floor. I think I'm just stuck in this box. I don't see a way out. I'm stuck. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, I've got saves. So let's... Let's go back... To... Here.
Oh boy. We're close. We're very. This, yeah, I think. I think this is it. I think that's the solution right there. I just need to get up there. Oh, like that. There's a wall here. Just climb up here. Yep. There's a wall of some sort here. Right there. That hole. Okay, is this a wall? It is not. Okay, hold on. <sighs> I'm on that floor. I'm there now. It's just I'm behind a wall. I'm on the level of that, of where I need to be. From Jumping up onto this right here, right? But now the issue that we're running into is the fact that this is a solid wall. It is not. Hold on. Just figured something out. Tyler, have you ever spoke to Gabe? Yes, I have. There's a seam here. He invited me to Valve to interview. Oh. That's the death plane. I got up and in. I got up and in. And then it killed me. Okay. Yeah, I think we did it. I think we're there. The issue is that it kills me as soon as I get past this wall. As you can see, I'm right here. Like, I am on the floor I need to be on. But passing that wall kills me. So now I'm below some stairs. And I want to get through the stairs. Hold on. I just reset all my perks so that I could, because I have the perk where my grenades don't affect me. Okay, so you can jump up there. You see, this is the- this is it. I'm there. We're so close. Hmm. But it's stairs. Is there a way... ...to get yourself... ...through a solid object in this game? Is there a bug? that lets you do that. Hmm.
gonna lurk now? I don't know what that means. It means they'll be here, but they won't talk. Okay. See, I have a feeling that those stairs aren't a death please stop following. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to the channel, please follow. Z4 I am. Thank you very much. I have a feeling that those stairs don't have a death plane. Because I'm literally standing on the floor where they are. Do you know what I mean? Like, if there was a death plane specifically here, I would be dead. I'm standing on the floor. Does that make sense? Like, this area is free to explore because they didn't intend on you getting here. And then if I just, like, snake myself up here, I die. Yeah. Okay, honest question. Because I'm getting tired of doing this. Does anyone know of wall clipping glitches? The tip of your head goes through the stairs when climbing up the ledge. Yeah. Is anyone aware of any wall clipping glitches? Oh, wait. Where did I land? Huh. I don't think this is progress. I actually think this is this is a regression of where we were before. But still cool. Oh. Ah. Yeah, we're kind of stuck. But I honestly think there's a few vids on YouTube that explain the wall clip glitch. DM me. Maybe like a save and load. Like what if I save like as far into the this as I can go, save, and then load. Will it put me above the stairs? Because my head is peeking above the stairs. Ooh, it tried to. It pushed me back, though. So what if I make the save facing backwards? And I just hold back and jump. I'm spamming back and jump, by the way. Nope. It still pushes me forward. It knows to do that. F9 is quick load, yeah. Hmm. F5 is quick save, F9 is quick load, and by the way, the loading input is disabled, so jumping won't help you. Yeah, I know of the wall clips that you can do with vehicles. 
Like, I'm aware of that. But what about... That grenade got through. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Maybe try saving while you get hit by it. Okay, I did that. What about camera mode stuff? What do you mean? That's for vehicles. Ah, uh, push me out. What the hell? Please stop following. Thank you for the follow. Oh, you mean like... Oh, you mean photo mode. What if I enter photo mode under these stairs? What, what's the button for photo mode on keyboard? N. N isn't doing anything. Pause. <laughs> okay. Camera type. Drone. Pose. Couldn't you use this to help look around surfaces you shouldn't? Uh, yeah, I think so. See, the problem is I, I've never really used this before. Is it close far to max, maybe? Exit. It just puts me right back. Hmm. So I'm standing up. this so bad. One, two, three. Grenade. Hmm. 
Grenade. Punch. Punch. Yeah, I, I honestly think that this is this is this is a dead end. Try to ragdoll yourself. Yeah, I'm trying, but I don't know how to, you know, consistently do something like that. I mean, maybe getting in here would help, but Whoa. What is that? Shit's solid into. Oh god. Right, forgot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload my save or saves of me out of bounds and give it to you guys on the discord and we're gonna have a contest Whomever... Whomever can figure out a way to do this. Because I've gotten this so far, you know. Whoever can figure out a way to get through this wall, get, you know... And you gotta record yourself doing it so that we can replicate it. What do you guys want? What's a good prize for that? Oh. Um. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh. What do you guys want? What's a good prize? A light interview? Is that... Is that really what you want? Try door? <laughs> Try door. There's an invisible wall there. I'll tell you what. Whoever gets it, just DM me. We'll discuss your prize. Just whatever. I can't give you money. But... Maybe I can, like, we could co-stream or something. Yeah, I mean, this door is a fake door. There, it was just, it's me and an invisible wall. That's how close we are right now. You want a framed picture of my ear? Can I ask why you want a framed picture of my ear? A copy of Cyberpunk? But you would need Cyberpunk. Yeah, I'll send you a personalized Valve News Network video or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I real cause like, look how close we are. Look at this. Look how close we've gotten. Just on today's little dumb stream. And the more I try, the more I discover, right? Try down more? Oh, what? 
So, like... There's really nothing to grab onto. Oh. There's really nothing to grab onto from down here. You know, because then now I gotta figure out a way to finagle my way up. And it's really hard to know what's solid and what isn't, you know. And very few things actually have legible grabbing surfaces. You know? So, like, if I try and finagle my way up here... Okay, well, now I'm up here. I mean, this kudos to their parkour system, because this shit's awesome. Like, I love their parkouring system. You try air dashing. No, I didn't. I should have tried air dashing. Yeah, whatever. So, anywho, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna stop now because, like... I honestly think I've gotten as far as I could right now. And... Unless there's, like, a viable... A wall... A viable wall clip. How to walk through any wall. Alright, hold on. Does it involve a vehicle? Yeah, it involves a vehicle. Now, I'm aware of this glitch. <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, one of these areas registers as the street, so I could get the car. You know? But... I mean, we're, we're, we're at the point now where we're, we're very, very, very close, you know, like I, we've made so much progress today that, yeah, I, I do believe that there is, there is a way of doing this, but, you know, it's just really, really hard. What's up? Five hours. Yeah, I need to end the stream. It's been too long. I got other shit to do. Oh. Oh, come on. Why do I keep finding stuff right when I'm supposed to be ending? Maybe this is something. Nope. Get car forehead. I can't glitch a car up here. Can't believe 120 people are still watching me do this. That's so stupid, guys. Okay, is it just an invisible wall? Is it, oh. That was something. Save the game. I got in. I did get in. Alright, so... I'm gonna put this save file on the Discord. And it's up to you guys to not only find a way in but to find a way in that doesn't immediately kill you and then we'll DM each other and figure out what your prize is so this is going to be a main channel video at this point because this is just way too good of something going on right now so I'm going to take all these quick saves from the last you know hour or so zip them up and you guys can do what you need with them so, it's like a death cube, but there are definitely holes in the death cube. So, it's up to you guys to figure it out. Alright. 
so um let's see here I need to keep it under a certain file size so yeah let's do these and then it needs to be easily replicated so that we can have a speed run challenge to see who can get to the bottom quickest <laughs> because that would be silly. All right, so the saves are in the Tyler Announcements uh, channel of the Discord server. If you don't have uh, access to the Discord server, um, exclamation point Discord in the chat should get you access. Um, I'm posting them now. First person to be able to do it. By the way, keep all of this to the CD Projekt Red channel of the Discord server. Um, and let's find somebody to raid because we have been streaming for five hours. Very fun stream. Very profitable stream. I appreciate it. But for now, let's find someone else who's playing. Someone is streaming themselves eating in the Cyberpunk channel. Okay. Um, I don't know. I know Pavel's going to be streaming later today. Just uh, go wait on his page, because his streams are great. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.